Introduction to Lean Six Sigma. The basics of Lean Six Sigma. Lean Six Sigma means it is a combination of powerful, two powerful methods that is Lean and Six Sigma. They complement each other. Lean accelerates Six Sigma and both of them together, they are a comprehensive tool set. What is Lean? Lean will reduce the waste by streamlining the process. What it, what it means is, the lean, lean will remove all the waste processes, which is not required. What Six Sigma will do? Six Sigma will make sure that the end result of your process, that is your service or the product you produce, et cetera, it is defect free, it is error free by effectively solving the problem. So this, this is what the lean does, reducing the waste. Six Sigma will reduce the defects. So both of them together, lean will accelerate Six Sigma. It will solve the problem and also it will improve the processes and it makes the process faster and more efficient. So that is the comprehensive tool set of Lean Six Sigma. What is Lean? Lean is simply a method of streamlining the process, uh, streamlining a process resulting in increased revenue, reduced cost and improved customer satisfaction. So Lean process is much faster than a normal process, how it is supposed to be. It is more efficient than, than a previous non-Lean process. It is more economical as it saves more time, cost, resources, and it delivers satisfactory quality of services and products. Eight waste of Lean. The Lean is achieved by removing waste. Waste is an activity which is not required to complete a process. So after removing the waste, only the steps required to produce a product or a service is ensured properly in a lean, and thus the customer will be satisfied. So these are the eight waste of lean. Transport waste. Lean will make sure the unnecessary movement of product services and the staff is not required. Inventory, the buildup of inventory, the cost of air, the cost of non-moving inventory is much more. So lean will try to reduce the inventory. The items that are stuck up in the uh, inventory, the lead will make sure to release it on time. Motion, the motion of the staff, materials, and machinery within a department. It reduces unnecessary motion within a department. Waiting time of the, when it is a consumer-oriented practice, waiting time uh, is of much of a patient satisfaction and customer satisfaction issue. So reduces the waiting time. Overproduction, make sure that things are not produced unnecessarily. Overprocessing, too many processes in the in a, in a service or a product, lean ensures that too much uh, unwanted process, processes is not required. Defects, it ensures that whatever is the output of the industry, may it be produced, any produced product or service, it is free of defects as much as possible. And unutilized talent, it makes sure that uh, only skilled and skilled and qualified employees work under the lean processes. So these are the eight based of lean. Types of Six Sigma. Six Sigma of, is of three types, healthcare Six Sigma, information technology Six Sigma, and manufacturing Six Sigma. Six Sigma in healthcare. It helps to increase the quality of time healthcare pro pro providers are able to spend with the patients. It reduces the time spent on paperwork, increases customer satisfaction and patient satisfaction reduces the wastage and defects in service. It saves cost to the hospital without compromising on the healthcare quality, which the service, service providers are providing and without compromising on the protocols. Information technology, as consumers, in, uh, as, as consumers increasingly rely on, on technology, Lean Six Sigma helps business by delivering products with fewer defects, decreasing returns and increasing customer satisfaction. Manufacturing budgets continue to tighten and resources are more limited than usual. Lean Six Sigma shortens the manufacturing time. It reduces the defects and waste stages and increases the customer satisfaction. So this this is how Six Sigma uh, comes into play when it comes to healthcare industry, information technology, and manufacturing industry. What exactly does Six Sigma mean? Measure how many defects you have in a process. If we can systematically figure out how to eliminate them and get as close to zero defects possible, that is called Six Sigma. Six Sigma is as close to zero defect product or zero defect service. Six Sigma is named after a statistical concept where a process only produces 3.4 defects per million opportunities. What it means is if you can see here in the pyramid given here, uh, 
you can see Six Sigma produces only 3.4 defects in 1 million opportunities. For example, there are 1 million products available. 1 million products which are produced in a manufacturing department. From that 1 million products, only 3.4 of them may have defects. If, if the, uh, if the uh, manufacturer is following a Six Sigma in manufacturing. Six Sigma can therefore also be thought of, so thought of a goal. If it is not a process, at least the manufacturers can try to achieve Six Sigma in their processes. So what are the benefits of using Six Sigma? Six Sigma increases revenue. Lean Six Sigma increases your organization's revenue by streamlining the process, means removing all the waste processes, unnecessary processes, and only keeping the value added processes in a uh, department. Decreases cost. Lean Six Sigma decreases your organization's cost by um, when the defect, defects are uh, produced, the customer satisfaction is increased. You get more and more customers. And what happens is when the defects are produced, you do not have to put too much of um, quality assurance to uh, to make sure that um, your, your services are pro, 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 uh, producing any defective products. This is how decreasing the cost work. Improving efficiency. Uh, Lean Six Sigma improves efficiency of the organization. For example, uh, if using the skilled employees only, qualified employees only, that it makes sure that the products, what you produce, the service which you give is efficient and cost effective enough. Develops effective people and employees. For example, uh, make sure if the, if the Lean Six Sigma is in place, what happens is, if the Lean Six Sigma uh, is in place, what happens is, uh, you are hiring people who are only skilled. You are hiring hiring people who are only qualified. So this is how uh, the benefits of using Lean Six Sigma plays out. How does Lean Six Sigma work? DMAC method is for D M A I C DMAC method. Define. You have to define what problem is. What is your problem? You have to state the problem. For example, you uh, you want to satisfy your customer, and uh, waiting time has to be reduced. Okay, that's a problem. Um, measure map the current processes to collect the data. So to see the uh, to the, to see the waiting time, current waiting time, you have to see when the uh, when the patient is entering into the registration department and how long the patient takes to uh, get uh, get into the consultation room or physician's room. Okay, so you will map out the time actually required. So that is the measurement phase. In analyze phase, you will see where and all the patient has to spend more time with. Where is the patient uh, spending a lot of time in queue, etc. So that is the analyze phase. Here you have to investigate and identify what is causing the problem. And in improve phase, whatever problems you have identified in the waiting time, you have to fix that problem. For example, in registration department, the patient has to spend a lot of time filling up unnecessary forms and everything. So you will make sure that the unnecessary forms are removed from the uh, registration room or uh, registration department only what is essential and what is required by the hospital protocol so this is, it has to be filled up by the patient so that is the improvement phase you uh, you you fix what uh, the fix the problem and in control phase you see how the after implementing new steps and new actions does does it affect the waiting time positively has the waiting time reduced if it is reduced means you have to uh, sustain the improved result as long as possible. If it is not reduced, means you have to look further, you have to analyze this deeper to find other ways. This is how Lean Six Sigma works. Myths about Six Sigma. Six Sigma is only considered considered with reducing defects. No, it is also considered with reducing the waste stages. Six Sigma is a process for production of engineering. No, not just engineering. In every and any industry, you can use Six Sigma. Six Sigma cannot be applied to engineering activities. It can be. Six Sigma can be applied to any activities which has a process in place. If an activity has a process and the activity has an end result in, in form of a product or service means it Six Sigma can be applied there. Six Sigma uses difficult to understand the test strategy. That is not true. In Six Sigma, basic statistics uh, with, with just basic arithmetic uh, summation, division, multiplication, basic arithmetic problems or basic statistics, uh, statistics, statistics also you can use Six Sigma. 
six sigma is just training uh, it that's that is not true six sigma imparts skill also to the uh, to, uh, through the various training levels of six sigma the benefits of six sigma it generates sustained success sets performance goal for everyone and how enhances value to customers accelerates the rate of improvement promotes learning and cross pollination executes strategic change so these are all the benefits of six sigma overall development of the industry three key elements of quality the customer the process and the employee these three key elements in uh, in of the quality comes in different place by using six sigma the customer is the main focus if it is a service oriented industry the process should be the main focus when it is a when you are producing a, in a manufacturing in the industry you are producing a defect free product the employee is of very important when you are hiring an employee with proper skilled skills so you are not uh, falling back on unutilized skills of the employee